An ecosystem is a community of living organisms interacting with each other and the environment around them. Ecosystems are built from plants upwards as they harness CO2 and water. And using the sun's energy, plants create energy-containing molecules which are carbohydrates. This is why they are often referred to as primary producers or autotrophs within the ecosystem. These molecules provide energy for all living organisms in an ecosystem. All other organisms that do not photosynthesize are considered consumers or heterotrophs. Many molecules along with energy are cycled in an ecosystem as organisms transfer them from one individual to another. One of the most typical transfers is when one organism consumes another. The molecules and energy that made up the consumed organism is either lost as heat or expelled such as carbon dioxide or excreted nitrogenous waste and the remaining molecules are integrated into the consuming organism's biomass. Cycles are often completed by death and decay which is vital for all organisms as they return many vital nutrients to the producers and the atmosphere. Ecosystems are incredibly dynamic as populations of organisms increase and decrease and climatic conditions always alter. Some ecosystems can be very stable in that they change very little over long periods of time. Generally, the more diverse an ecosystem is, the more stable it will be. Sometimes the only event that will alter these ecosystems is a natural disaster such as an earthquake or a volcanic eruption or even a large-scale fire. Worry not though, ecosystems recover over time. Coral reefs are an excellent example of a diverse ecosystem that has existed for as many as 500 million years. The coral actually has a symbiotic relationship with tiny algae which are the producers in the ecosystem. From whale sharks to pistol shrimp, from sea cucumbers to phytoplankton, this ecosystem is teeming with more organisms and interactions than there are bases in a tiny little clownfish's DNA.